every day, many labs around the world, including our lab, are trying to fight a single enemy, cancer. Historically, three different approaches have been used to try to eliminate these tumor cells, surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy. However, despite constant efforts to try to improve these treatments, they have been limited by efficacy and also by toxicity. Unfortunately, as we know, people are still dying from cancer. Recently, the focus of cancer treatments has shifted from the tumor cells themselves to the host, and in particular, to the immune system of the host. And this is a revolution, which is called the immuno-oncology revolution. So far, most immunomodulatory approaches against cancer are focused on T cells, in particular, to boost T cell function against tumors. And this has been done using immune checkpoint inhibitors that unleash T cells, and also using B-specific antibodies, such as bites. These bites have proven some efficacy, but this is mostly limited to hematological disease, and this is also associated with some toxicity. Besides T cells, an interest has raised on natural killer cells, NK cells, because NK cells have natural propensity to recognize a variety of tumor cells, and because also they can kill and eliminate these tumor cells. NK cells are equipped with activating receptors, such as CD16, which is an activating receptor that recognizes the FC fraction of the antibodies, and also NKP46, which is a natural cytotoxicity receptor. The full engagement of NK cells, the full activation of NK cells, requires the co-engagement of these activating receptors. So here, we report the design, the production, and the characterization of a new generation of NK cell engagers, which are based on the use of three different fragments of antibodies. So one fragment is directed against NKP46, the other fragment is directed against CD16, it's actually the FC portion of the antibodies themselves, and then the third fragment is directed against the tumor antigen, which is obviously expressed on the cancer cell. Our NK cell engagers display three levels of innovation. The first one is that they target NK cells and not T cells. The second one is that they are targeting NKP46 for the first time. And finally, they are trifunctional molecules. Now one can see the in vitro efficacy of these NK cell engagers. On one side, one sees human NK cells in the presence of tumor cells, but in the absence of NK cell engagers. On the right side, one sees the culture of these human NK cells with the tumor cells, but in the presence of NK cell engagers. And what you see is that the tumor cells are dying. As they die, they become fluorescent and green. So the more green you see, the better it is in terms of efficacy of the NK cell engager for killing the tumor cells. In conclusion, the strong anti-tumor activity of NK cell engagers in preclinical models support the development of these NK cell engagers in clinical trials, in particular in complement to existing immuno-oncology approaches.